So depending on the type of canvas that you've painted on, this one you can see is a back stapled canvas. It's stapled onto the support frame. And so in order to roll it into a tube, which I'm showing you here, uh, you just need to take the staples out of the frame. I just use a flathead screwdriver, as you saw, dug underneath the staples, and then I use a set of pliers and just pull each of the staples out. Um, it's quite a simple process, uh, depending on how big your canvas is, depends on how much time it'll take. Uh, I've done some quite large ones, and those do take a little bit of time to get all the staples out. Um, but this makes it uh, you able to take the canvas off of the support frame, uh, which you're seeing right now. And just be careful around the corners um, because they're, it, it's glued sometimes, uh, depending on the brand of frame that uh, canvas that you get. And so it can be um, glued. So make sure you are careful to not rip the canvas. And then as you can see, the wooden support frame just slides right out. What I did there, I went and got a pen and just labeled the sides of the support frame. So if the person who purchased this painting would like to re-put together this support frame. It's labeled and so it'll be easy for them to put back together. Um, but there are a few staples in each of the corners, so you can pull those out the same way as you did with the canvas, and then as you can see, it just pulls apart quite, quite simply. From there, we're gonna just align the support frame into its smallest form possible, and we're gonna grab some bubble wrap, and we're just gonna wrap it in the bubble wrap um, so it is together, tight, and protected. And usually what I try to do is I try to make it so that the bubbly part on the outside and then the flat surface is touching the support frame on the inside. And I'll usually just close that up with painter's tape. It's sticky enough, but it makes it easier for the customer when they're um, unpackaging their painting. Painter's tape comes off quite a bit easier. So the next step is wrapping um, the painting in uh, a paper. You're supposed to use acid-free or glycine paper um, because other types of paper, if you just use like scrap newspaper or uh, maybe more plasticky types of newspaper, um, the different residues from those papers can affect the painting and possibly damage it. Um, so I just got this paper at Staples. It's acid-free, it's really good packing paper. <clears throat> you can pick up a roll there for, for pretty cheap. As you can see there, I'm just cutting two pieces, one for each side, the front and the back, um, to fit around um, the painting, making sure that the corners are all pushed down, as you can see there. And then the next step is to roll your painting with the support frame roll that you already made. And it's important, I like to make sure that it's always the long way um, because that means that the painting is folding less, or it's rolling less. Um, because the more it rolls, the more possible there is for damage. And when you're rolling it, make sure that the actual painting side of the painting is on the outside, um, because if it does stretch, then when it's laid back flat, the paint will go back together. But if you roll it on the inside, so the painting is on the inside of the roll and it cracks, then when you unwrap it, then the cracks are gonna break and be even bigger. So make sure that the painting side, the actual paint side on the canvas is on the outside of the roll. And then you can see that I just put a little piece of painter's tape there um, just to keep it together. So now we're gonna roll that new roll of the support frames in the painting in a layer of bubble wrap. So very simple, just cut out another piece of bubble wrap, roll it on. I just um, support it with painter's tape to make sure it's staying on. Make sure the corners are wrapped in so to put, you protect the ends of the painting. And then you're ready to put it in the tube. And so once you're starting to put it in the tube, make sure that it's a snug fit. Um, if it's not, uh, maybe put some spacers in there, another layer of bubble wrap if you need to, but it's a good idea to have it nice and tight because as as you know, things get tossed around when they're being shipped, and if it's loose inside, then it could damage the ends of the painting. Um, but then you can put on the little caps of the end of your tube, and then wrap it, um, tape the ends of it with um, packing tape. Don't use painter's tape for that, because you actually want this to be firm and to stay together. So I always tape the caps on uh, with packing tape, just to make sure they don't pop off. 
and then you can put your shipping label just right on the tube itself. I always just tape it on the packing tape and you're ready to go.